Rolling out the red carpet for a local hero tomorrow. James Coleman being honored for helping to save a man from his sinking vehicle in Mobile Bay. Our Shelby Myers joining us here in studio now with the story. And Shelby, our cameras were there just minutes after the rescue. Yeah, they were. That's right, Byron and Lenise. It happened on the causeway in December. A man driving to work found himself in the bay. And luckily, this guy, James Coleman, was at the right place at the right time to lend a hand. And now he's getting some much deserved thanks from his community. We was right along in there, fishing, crabbing, and all of a sudden we heard some boom and I looked up and here come that red truck. James Coleman was fishing one December morning like he typically does, when out of nowhere a truck careens into the bay. So when he hit the ball, I was trying to get to him. I mean, that, that then the fishing broke my rod and reel and stuff. But I was trying to get to him. Gavin Foster was the driver of the pickup truck. He says he was on his way to work, clipped the median, and lost control. It was less of a slide and more of a barrel, but um, it was uh, arm straight, just do what you were told in driver's ed. Uh, just don't overreact. And I mean, no bruises, so I'm and all you, good. And you ended up actually in the water? Mm -hmm. Thanks to Coleman, Foster came out without a scratch. When he got to him, we, 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 we helped open the door. He got in the boat, so I called for help. Tomorrow, Pritchard Councilman George McCall wants to honor Coleman for his heroism, and you can join in for the community drive-by event at 11 a.m. It's on Grant Avenue, and you're encouraged to drive by, honk your horn, and maybe add in some encouraging words for this hometown hero. <laughs> And just a few hours ago, I talked to Councilman McCall and he told me he's doing this because Coleman took a risk being older with health conditions to save someone else's life. And that must have been, he said, quote, mighty brave in the studio tonight. Shelby Myers, Fox 10 News.